Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Steve. Today,、um, I'd like to take a few moments to make a video to talk about my thoughts and experiences and share how I was able to prepare and pass the AWS Certified Security Specialty Exam, which is this one.、Uh, I'm looking at AWS Certification Official website. This is,、um, I've passed all of these general, professional, associate, and foundation on these six certificates. But、there are still six more specialty certificates. It is these three: Advanced Networking, Security, Alexa Skill Builder, Machine Learning, Data Analytics, Database. All of which I'm super excited and interested about. So the first one that I took and passed is along among these six specialty exams is this one: Security, Security Specialty. So to, that's the one that I'm going to talk about today. For those of you guys who have been following my journey along, I have made at least one video to talk about all. Any one of these six certifications, I'll put the link down below. So if you guys are interested, how to prepare and pass though any one of those six certificates, feel free to check them out and comment down below and let me know if you guys have any thoughts or questions. This is、um, the have recently migrated from AWS Dot Training to this a to this your acclaim website. So. This is, as you guys can can see, this is all of my seven certificates. Yes, seven, six、um, professional, associate, and foundational, and I got my first specialty certification, which is this AWS Certified Security Specialty. I'm super excited about this. Just like my previous ones, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about a few key important AWS services that I thought would be very important and helpful for everyone who is aiming to pass this security specialty exam to really become very familiar with these key services, so that you can have a good understanding to be able to pass this security specialty certification exam. But by no means, what I'm going to go through is a comprehensive list. No, that's not. Of course, you have to build up your knowledge upon your past experiences. Like say, for me, I have the knowledge that I've that I was able to accumulate while I was preparing for DevOps, Solutions Architect, Developer, SysOps, all of this. Those knowledge and skills, they are still. In my mind, so with this momentum, I was able to pass this. But of course, this security specialty is very focused, heavy on security. So, with in this video, I'd like to focus on the security related these special concentration topics. Okay, with that said, let's dive into this. The first、uh, service that I could talk about is KMS. This one, nobody can stress this more than enough in the special in the security specialty exam because this is, I would say, this one could take up to ten or even twenty percent of this entire security specialty exam. You want to understand what are the differences between how to encrypt and decrypt a small or large file. What are the customer managed security keys? What are the AWS managed? What are the AWS owned security keys? What are the differences? What are the pros and cons? How about rotation? How do you keep your keys in really in in the secure fashion? How do you rotate it for customer managed keys? How often can you rotate it? How is the automatic rotation work? All of these things you want to have a good understanding. That's the first service. Second one is cloud hardware security module. You want to understand the difference between this one and KMS. In which scenario you want to apply cloud hardware security module, cloud HSM versus KMS? Right. This is apparently another very key important component about security specialty exam. Third one is Amazon Inspector. So Amazon Inspector is a security assessment service that helps you to. Check all of the common vulnerabilities within your infrastructure. So you want to use this to do what and what and what against what. You want to make sure that you have a good understanding. Like say, for example, Amazon Macy and Amazon Guard Duty. What is the difference? So Amazon invented, came up with these different services for different purposes, right? It's designed to fulfill certain customer requirements, certain customer asks. So you want to really understand the subtle differences. Between Amazon Inspector, Amazon Macy, Amazon Guard Duty, all of these, they were born for a purpose, right? So you want to really understand this because it's very likely that you get a question with these four choices, among which Amazon Inspector, Amazon Macy, and Amazon Duty are listed separately, each one as a response. So you want to understand which one is correct based on the ask scenario, the use case. Another one is AWS IAM. This one could repeatedly appear in all of your exams. 
So for the exams that I've taken, Cloud Practitioner, Solutions Architect Associate, Solutions Architect Professional, SysOps, DevOps Professional, all of these, IEM is an unescapable topic because this is the key, this is really the key, the super foundation, foundational block of every single AWS account, of every single AWS services that you are about to build because security is the foundational block. And at this very foundational block of security, IEM is the key component of this because you want to understand users, roles, organizations, how to build a structure that is really reusable, repeatable, reconstructable, and very secure. Right. So IEM is the way to go. So identity and access management, you want to really understand, have a very good understanding. So I, what I would say is, again, fire up your own AWS console, play around, um, create a few new roles and users, see what is the difference, what kind of benefits, pros and cons this approach is going to give me. That will give you a good idea. Next one is Amazon Macy. Macy, it can discover and protect your sensitive data at scale. This is something that's really amazing. Amazon Missy uses machine learning. Amazon built its machine learning technology power behind the scenes and gives you Macy. So you want to use Macy to really protect your sensitive data. Amazon Cognito. So this is the one that I've encountered in multiple exams as well, not only in security special, but also for example, solutions architect, professional solutions architect, uh, um, associate level, Cognito. For example, if, if the question is asking you if you are building a mobile app, which is the most easy way and it gives you a bunch of uh, authorization authentication options which one could require the least amount of developer effort to set it up to to do auth and auth z amazon cognito is usually the way especially when it comes to mobile but that's not always the case so you really want to understand for example user pool identity pool that that's associated with Amazon Cognito. This is a very powerful service as well because it can integrate, as you can see in here, it can integrate with other popular social identity provider, for example, Facebook, Google, Amazon, right? So Amazon Cognito is cool. You want to understand that? AWS WAF, Web Application Firewall. Um, this is the one that I'm sure that you got asked during Solutions Architect Professional, but when it comes to security specialty, its importance couldn't be emphasized more, right? And this is a very cool service that can protect your application from common web exploits, web attacks, right? For example, it can ask you, what are the common web attacks? Like, for example, SQL injection, cross-site scripting. What is the the Amazon service that can help you achieve the common protection in the most affordable way. Usually it's AWS WAF. So you want to understand this, but again, I said, what's the way, what's the Amazon service that could protect you from common web vulnerability attacks? I've mentioned this word not the first time in this video already. What's the first time that I mentioned this? So you want to understand that service and this service. What's the subtle differences? Sometimes the answer of this question could be that you want to combine these two, but sometimes you have to pick one of these, depending on which, depending on the circumstances or depending how the question is framed to ask you. For example, which one requires the least amount of developer effort or which one is the most cost effective? So depending on all of those questions, how the questions are being asked, you want to pick the right choice. And how you are able to pick the right choice totally depends on your understanding, your knowledge about these different services. So please study this one. Then this one, AWS Config. I think I just mentioned this in my AWS DevOps professional exam. So Config, AWS Config is another service that you want to understand to pass security especially as well, because this is a very powerful one. For example, you want to understand how your infrastructure, your your infrastructure on top of the AWS cloud is being, being, is being transformed. How you can govern your infrastructure on AWS. You want to understand, for example, an incident happened. What was the role looking like before this incident happened? And how the role is looking like right after the incident happened. You can reconstruct these snapshots, which helps you to understand what actually happened and caused this incident. Something like this. Maybe it's not only AWS config alone, you can combine this AWS config tool along with other AWS tools to help you reconstruct the scene of the crime or of the incident 
but you want to understand what are the pros and cons that AWS Config can bring to you, to the table, right? I would say go through the FAQ. For every AWS service, AWS always publishes an FAQ page. I would highly recommend to go through an FAQ page. Also, Get Started is a good place to go as well. Check it out. Then AWS CloudTrail. CloudTrail has been asked in almost all exams that I've taken. Because CloudTrail is super powerful, it gives you the possibility that you can view what happened every api action because for example when you log into your aws console through which way through the browser or through the api it's all of those boiled down to an api action call right and all of these api calls have been documented in aws cloud trail so if you are a detective you want to understand what happened at this day at this hour who did what for what right aws cloud trail gives you this possibility because it clearly documents this timestamp at at yesterday at 2 35 a.m this developer logged in did this it clearly documented everything and you want to make sure that nobody can delete this how can you make sure that and if you have aws services in multiple regions you want to have a central place to govern all of these actions how can you do that all of this is part of the AWS cultural knowledge you want to understand, you want to really master this before you walk into the exam room. The last one that I'd like to talk about for the AWS Security Special is AWS Artifact. This is a perfect tool to meet your audit needs because it just generates all of the documents. For example, um, it includes your SOC, Service Organization Control Reports, your PCI, if your company is involved within the payment industry, right? All of the, these reports are readily available handy with AWS Artifact. So I would say you might get at least one or two questions involving around AWS Artifact. Again, by no means all of these few services that I've gone through is a comprehensive list. You still need to sit down and go through, try at least for the AWS um, sample exam, there are only 10 questions on AWS site. Go there first, go through those 10 sample questions. Then you'll have a good understanding of what is expected in this security specialty exam. Lastly, I still would like to talk about how I was able to prepare. I went through not only the FAQs or getting started page of all of these popular services for security specialty. Again, I used Wiz Labs. After I log into the Wiz Labs, so wizlabs.com, I'll put a link at the description of this video as well. So I used Wiz Labs to, to help me prepare and pass security specialty again. For example, after I log in and after you purchase this, it's going to give you access to all of this. Before you purchase, you can have access only to free test. So you see, I completed this one. I got 53%, I still didn't pass it. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating, but if you feel that you, you are in good shape, you have confidence to pass, you can still step in, that's what happened to me. And after you purchased, you have access to practice tests and all of these section tests. I didn't have enough time to complete all of these. So I took this one, as you can see, attempts 52% I still failed it and I took only one of the section tests uh, which I failed as well 60% but they give me a very good chance to understand and to study for because you see I can go through the report for example let me just show you guys the report it clearly lists out which one you got correct which one you got wrong and then it gives you very clear understanding. You don't even need to study, do the research by yourself. You just need to click through. And for example, you just click this, right? This one points to the correct page that you should be looking at. So it's a big time saver. That's why I highly recommend this. Another cool feature is that when you actually start to go through this one practice test, for example, let me go back. When you actually start this exam, for example, let me just quickly start this one as a start quiz, just to show you guys one of the cool features that I really like about Wiz Labs is, for example, here, it has a total of 65 questions. Um, there is, I didn't even find one session that could give me two or three hours to complete this one practice test in one setting. I just constantly get interrupted. Wiz Labs gives you this possibility that you can pause the timer. And also when you log out, for example, you cross, you just cross this out. Next time when you check back in, all of your progress within this session has been saved and the order is being kept. That's the thing that I really, really like and really appreciate. Although this is a simple feature, you might assume 
this feature might exist in all of these softwares, but I guarantee you that's not the case. <laughs> so I really appreciate what Wizlabs has to offer. I highly recommend this. I'll put a link in my description in the description of my video below too. Feel free to check them out. I think that's all that I have. In terms of difficulty levels, I feel specialty security is slightly easier than DevOps professional and quite a lot easier than Solutions Architect professional. That's just my feeling. As you can see in my Wizlabs uh, tutorial, I didn't even uh, spend a lot of time to prepare for this. One is because with the momentum that I've just passed Solutions Architect professional, a lot of knowledge is still very fresh in my mind. Uh, the other side is security is just uh, one of the just very foundational building blocks in terms of how you roll out an AWS infrastructure, right? Security is really something that you have that in your heart while you are preparing for all of these other certification exams. That's why I didn't really spend a lot of time studying for this. That's all I would like to say. Also, one, la one more last thing is that get, get enough sleep before you walk into the exam the day before and don't drink too much water. <laughs> That's always the tip that I give because you have to sit in the exam room for at least two or two and a half hours, right? You cannot go to the restroom or do anything because I did. I took the exam at my home office, which means there's no proctor, in-person proctor around me. So I cannot move around. That's all that I have for this security specialty exam. Hope you guys find this video helpful. If that's the case, just do me a favor and hit that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have accumulated quite a lot of different AWS certification exam prep videos and also data structure algorithms, different sorts of computer science related videos on my channel. Feel free to check them out. Hopefully I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds. Thanks very much.